What's going on guys? It's your boy Dude with Dan here back in the garage again. Before we get started on our project, we need to do some shuffling around here to make some room in the garage. I'm also waiting on my buddy Ham to come over. He's going to help me out as we uh, <laughs> work on our project. But before we get started, I have something I want to show you guys. With the holidays fast approaching, there's going to be a lot of us sitting around with our families with nothing else to do after Christmas or before Christmas or even during Christmas. Maybe you got a new tablet for Christmas? And you've got nothing else to do while your siblings argue and your parents do nothing. So Alliance Heroes of the Spire and I have teamed up to give you guys something to do while you're waiting for Christmas to show up. Heroes of the Spire is quickly becoming a top played mobile game. There's almost 400 unique heroes that you can apply in over 10,000 different ways into battle. That's a lot of damage! Now there's two really sick game modes. One of them where you can battle against giant bosses, just like all popular RPG games. And there's another mode where you can battle against real people in the PvP mode or even some of your close friends. Not to mention the fact that there's massive guild wars. If you're really into the style of turn-based games like Final Fantasy and all that, then you'll really enjoy this game. Really, just give it a shot, come back and tell me how you like it. Also, Alliance gave me a special code for you guys to use. It's in the description, you gotta use my link. You get an extra 50,000 gold and 50 gems on startup. That's a huge starting bonus. So remember to support my channel, use my link below and you get that extra bonus. Ham should be getting here any second now, so I'm gonna go wait on him. Ham should be getting here any second now, so I'm gonna go wait on him. And I gotta move this. <laughs> Alright guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dude with Ingleberry here in the garage again. Today we're going to be doing a very weird, hopefully super simple and super quick project, but you know how the internet, you know how things go. Today we're going to be mounting a machine gun on a motorcycle. Uh, or at least trying to, I hope. We've got a couple of pieces of uh, DOM steel tubing here. I've got my buddy Ham here. He's going to give me some ideas on how to mount this because he is my expert gun mounting guy, aka he makes knives and does stuff. I don't make knives. He doesn't make knives. What do you do, Ham? Tell everybody what you do. I am a screen printer. I print t-shirts, merchandise, all that good stuff. And For knives. Him. No. He doesn't do anything with knives. You guys can see in one of my videos where we talked about doing the mounts on stuff like this. So I can kind of go into a little bit more detail about why we're going to be mounting machine gun to this. Basically, every year I do a Christmas video. This year I'm kind of doing something pretty cool, I hope, at least anyway. So today we've got a couple of different things that we're going to do. Basically what we're going to do is use some DOM tubing, cut and chop it up and see if we can't figure out a way to make a temporary mount. This is not my bike, I'm not keeping this bike. This is my friend Micah's bike, he does his own Masters of Light Photography. Check him out. Ugh. So we need to fabricate some sort of temporary mount where we can mount a machine gun to and we have an idea. We use this factory mount right here that, this is the frame obviously, it's an, it's an engine cradle. <clears throat> Take out these two bolts, they're already loose and they're not, there's no pressure against them so I'm not worried about them popping out or anything like that. Make a little L-shaped bracket, come off with a piece of tubing up through here. But since this is a temporary mount, I'm not super worried about it, I'm not worried about the longevity of it. So it's gonna come up, cut across, and this is actually a, a user's idea, right? So this is one of my uh, subscribers' idea. This is genius. He said, use a caster, um, like a like a heavy duty metal caster, and uh, this will give you both a left and right and up and down access. So we're gonna remove the wheel, mount a plate here, and then we'll, and then have the gun mount up here. Who I don't remember who came up with this idea. I'm gonna try to find it in the comments but more than likely I'm just gonna to be too lazy to do that. So you know who you are, thank you very much for this idea. We're gonna go with this. So uh, it's science or something, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I can't count. Cool, let's get started. I don't think the, this plate doesn't need to be super wide. It does need to be wider than this though. And normally I would measure it, but since I don't have my measuring stick with me, I'll just use the, the width of the plate to make it easy. Do it all the way along. Look at this, it's like, this is called ghetto measuring. So we will take that to the cutter and then cut that out, drill some holes in it, and that will be the super simple mount. It'll be super simple, we'll have this done in an hour, right? but I, I can almost not guarantee it. Safety first, guys. Seems fair, right? Yeah. Yeah, it seems fair. Yeah, I don't mind not having my bottom jaw. Good. We have a base plate, we go on like that. So now we gotta drill two holes at about the right size. Super easy. Yeah. Since we're uh, being ghetto today, that looks middle-ish. Now, take it to the drill press, drill two holes. Now 
You ever wake up in the morning and look at the mirror and say, how am I not dead? Every day. Every day. Make sure to move your large box of Tannerite before doing anything that involves sparks. No, it's close enough. Yeah. Also, the fuel tank. This isn't advertised as much as I'd like it to be, but these Bosch drill bits have been fucking awesome. I love these, and I wish Bosch would pay me to say that. You think this will be good enough to mount to the engine as like a rubber grommet? Sure. Oh, dude, you know what? I might have two of these already pre-made. That way I don't even have to make any more of them. I made these a long time ago for something else that probably never got finished, like most of my projects. But I can uh, just drill these holes to be a little bit bigger, and we can use those for the, uh, the bracket in between where the caster would go. Never mind what I said about these Bosch drill bits, fuck them. That's still hot, that's still very hot. Oh, my tape measure, fuck you. That would've been, use been useful for like a couple of minutes ago. You know people say like ghetto rigged, people say like other things that I can't say on camera. <laughs> Jerry rigged. I don't know who Jerry is, but I want people to say Dan rigged, right? I want I want that to be a thing. And I bet they will because I'm such a good measurer. Look at that, perfect. It's almost as if I didn't measure them. That's like a little, that's yeah, close enough. All right, so we've got it mounted, as you can see. Very professional, very professional mount. You just kind of like do that, right? And then you pull that tab right there. Hold, hold on, cut. Uh, mm -hmm. See, you have to make sure it's lined up, and you lock it out. Now that ain't going nowhere, boys, and that girl that watches my videos. Mount those two brackets in between it, I bet they'll bolt right up, weld it in place, and then we'll have a pivot, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I didn't math that out very well. This is called fuck it up with Dan. Ow, everything. One of my neighbors is a really heavy, Christian, which is fine, you know, I'm, I'm religious too. Yeah. But uh, I'm sure she doesn't like me. There's no way that she likes my videos. All right, so we've created our, our uh, mounting brackets for the plate that's gonna go in between the caster where the wheel went. I'm just gonna mount it like so, weld it into place, and then you'll have the bracket be able to go up and down. At the same time, it'll also be able to turn left and right. So this is really good. Really good design plan by, I don't know who came up with it again, I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember who said this, but this is fucking, this is a good idea. Come on up to that, like so. I mean, you know, this is fixed out, but yeah. Stop it. Perfect. See? Something simple and basic like that. Throw a spacer or two in there and she's good to go. Yeah, what do you think, Ham? You think it'll work good? It should work. Just for the sake of one video, yeah. anyway. Eureka, I have an idea. So originally what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pipe that's gonna be kind of excessive and you weren't gonna be able to turn the handlebars all the way with it. It'd probably be full locked right here because there'd be a piece of tube coming through here. Now, originally I did not want to mount it to the handlebars because I didn't think it would be that cool if the gun turned and whatnot, but I've had an idea. Also, the main reason I didn't want to mount it to the handlebars is because I thought it'd be kind of hard to do. So, I'm gonna mount it to the handlebars. <laughs> originally, they come with these smaller bolts that screw into here and they go all the way and then you're nice and flush like these. So, but, I was gonna think about like, okay, maybe I could just mount a plate on top of that, but I've had a better idea, I think. I have some of this spare thin tubing laying around and some longer bolts that bolt in. So, correct. Put the tube in it and then, once you, you put the tube in it, this will create a spacer, put a plate on top of that and it'll be a little bit flexible for recoil. What do you think, Ham? Fuck it, right? Should being the key word, we'll physically test it here in a second by shooting a gun in my garage. Right, Ham? No, not right, Ham. That was, yeah, there you go. All right, so we have these four bolts here. You see, I, I made them. I created this. 
I am your father. Basically, it's just gonna be a spacer or mount something like that here, and then have the gun here. Of course, it's actually gonna be this way, but I was just showing you that way, but more or less, it's gonna be like this. Up and down, left and right. And you should still be able to drive the motorcycle this way, I hope. That's really all that matters. I know it looks like I have an emo haircut right now. I haven't had my haircut in a while. I look like a, a lesbian, which is actually banned on my channel now. The word lesbian, I've decided to ban the word lesbian on the channel, and everyone who posts it gets banned. <laughs> so if you haven't seen your comment that has the word lesbian in it pop up in a while, it's because you've been getting banned from my channel. <laughs> it's not that it bothers me, I'm just tired of it, man. F figure something else, man. All right, so we got this uh, plate ready here. So basically it's gonna mount kind of like this, and this adapter plate. It's actually a lot sturdier than I thought it was gonna be. We'll, we'll test it out. We'll hit it with a hammer or something a little bit, make sure it doesn't pop out or anything like that. But yeah, that's how it's gonna work. We're just gonna weld this straight to this plate because fuck it, why not, you know? What about uh, this guy? Oh, that? That right there? Yeah, don't, don't worry about that. Everything will be just fine. Don't, it's, it, just ignore that. That didn't happen. That's Dan not measuring <laughs> things correctly is what that is. That's the old dude with Dan special. That's a DIWD special right there. The bearings are probably a little cooked, to be honest. They're not great. No, let's put some more grease in there. Fact is that it still turns. But yeah, check that out. Keep that shit on. I actually ended up filling the holes in the bottom too, so. Oops. I mean, they're, you know, they'll hold. They'll definitely hold. Oh yeah, we'll pack that full of grease. She'll be, she'll be A-OK. -okay. Look at this. This was designed almost like by professionals. All that matters is that it can handle about 100 rounds of full automatic fire. That's all I care That's about. Awesome. Or even measured appropriately. <laughs> but it is, in fact, attached, which is what we were going for. I want to let everyone know here we're not using this to win any awards. And this is where it all comes together, YouTube. We're almost minutes. So, I ended up mounting my 308 Reacher from CFA on it. Just for the time being, just to kind of get a test in it. Looks like the angles are going to be good for what we need it to be. Um, it is a, This is a much longer gun than the one we're actually going to be using. So I think that even with a shorter with a shorter gun, same size barrel, be perfect. What do you think, Ham? All right, actually what we ended up doing is we uh, flipped this bracket around, which gave us a little bit more height, which means that we can aim it a little bit lower if you want to shoot the dirt or the front tire or whatever, and moved it back a little bit so you can sit on it a little bit more comfortably. Uh, comfortably. Either way, this quick attach mount, we got full sweep left and right, up and down. Sorry about your mica, sorry about your gauges. But I figured about 25 to 30 yards with a full auto AR-15, it's gonna be dope. And uh, this is exactly what I was trying to do. I don't know the legalities of mounting. I have no idea. I have not even looked into this. So uh, maybe some of you internet uh, cops can tell me what's up. But the point is, is that... I just work here, man. Like, yeah, we just work here. But 
you'll be able to do the full sweep left and right. And what's cool is that the bars still move left and right, so you can technically ride it and shoot it, you know? And that's one of the benefits. I didn't want to mount it to the handlebars, so naturally we compromised and mounted it to the handlebars. All I need this thing to do is work for one video. That's it, that's it, just one, for one video. Mounting a machine gun to, well this isn't the machine gun, but we will have a machine gun mounted to this. I think we should have done it to the magma actually. But yeah, so this is gonna have to do for right now. I don't get what I want, I get what I need. Every single day I'm heading off to my dream and I get everything that I damn well please. I don't give a damn if you are listening to me cause I'm running. I'm the only one that really want it. I'm the only one that's really on it. I'm just being honest. I'm just doing everything I promise cause I want it bad enough that I'ma make it as an artist and I know I'm not the smartest and I know I'm not the largest but I promise you that I'ma- You just mount a machine gun to a damn motorcycle, really? You think people across the street would be interested in checking out our, our motorcycle sniper? Or our miper? No. Our motor our motor sniper? Motor rifle. Motor rifle? Motor. Or, or sniper cycle? Sniper cycle! Yeah! That's it! Yeah. <laughs>